In this video, we're going to learn how to manage documents in Apple's Pages app for iOS. Pages is Apple's response to Microsoft Word, but it only works on Apple computers and Apple mobile devices. Pages costs $10 from the iTunes store. When you launch Pages, if you've used it before, you have documents. These documents by default are ordered based on date of last modification, but if you pull down on the screen, you can also organize them by name if you prefer. By default, documents are named blank one, blank two, blank three, but if you'd like to change that, just click on the word below the document and you can name it as you see fit. When you're happy with your title, you can hit done in either the top right corner or right on the keyboard. Documents can also be organized into folders or collections. To do so, hold down on a document until they start to wiggle. Then pull that document over another and you will see a black border appear. Dropping the document creates a new folder and you are invited to rename that folder. To cease the jiggling documents, hit done in the top right corner. If you've got a folder or collection of documents that you would like to rename, simply touch the folder, touch the name of the folder, and enter your new name. To delete a document, you hit the edit button in the top right corner of the screen, select the document you would like to delete so that there is a yellow border around it, and hit the delete button in the top left. Now once you delete it, you will not be able to get it back. Unlike a standard computer operating system, you do not have access to a trash can once you've deleted. If you're using iCloud or some other backup service, you may be able to retrieve it, but not by default. Clicking the edit menu also gives you two other options. In the very top left, there is an icon for exporting the document. You select the document first and then touch the icon. There's a number of options here that have evolved over time as this product matures, but the safest and most simple solution for sharing this document is to email it to someone. You can choose to send the document as a pages, native document, as a PDF, or as a Word document. The final button available from the edit menu is the duplicate button. By selecting a document and duplicating it, you end up with two versions. This is great if you're writing a letter or a paper and you want to ensure that you don't lose your old work before you start making changes. As you can see in my folder here, I have three different versions of a document. And with my new duplicate, I'm going to touch the name and I'm going to change it to V4. This way I can always move backwards to a previous version. That's all you need to know about Pages Document Viewer. 